Hey guys, so what I want to do today is I want to install a, a power switching panel here. What I got here is this M King marine grade panel and it's got all these switches for you know things that I want to control in the future. I'm not going to install those things today. Today is just the switchboard, but this is marine grade so it should be completely waterproof. There's a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter type adapter, USB ports and a voltage meter. So um, I'm gonna install it right here and see how that goes. Number 10 socket wrench. Comes off really easy. All right, so here's the panel look at what it looks like on the inside all right so here's what it looks like on the inside and you can see there's a whole lot of room in there you could stuff quite a bit of stuff back there anyways um so in the future i'm definitely going to put a power inverter back there um but for right now like i said i'm just going to install that switchboard onto this panel and uh boy i'm getting a lot of ideas of what i could do back there but that's another day all right, so this M King board comes with um, these uh, circuit breaker switches, so that uh, you just connect these two and these two for the for the the ports up here, and these two are for the switches to here. But it all has this uh, trip switch, so that's really nice. So if I do it sideways, it, it will fit, um, but it's going to go just outside of this curvature, so that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, I can do it like this, which will just fit perfectly, and it's all inside. So uh, I need to decide how I want to do that. So another nice thing is that it comes with all these labels. So if you want to have some fun with your labels and what you want to do, water, lights, Bigfoot, Jackrabbit, some other stuff. Uh, and there's also the white you probably can't see in the camera but these are clear and with some white um, decals that you could use so uh, i'll worry about all that stuff later let's just install it onto the panel all right so it also comes with this uh, rubber gasket so that uh, it could be a little bit more waterproof but uh, so I, I decided i'm just going to go the way that fits the easiest and that's along the, the long direction It'll be like this. So I'm gonna use this gasket as uh, the template of what I need to cut out. All right, so now I have the lines of what I need to cut out and uh, let's cut it out. All right, drilling those holes will make it easier. Straightest cut I've ever done, but that's going to be okay. All right, it's going to fit in nicely. It's going to sit like that. And uh, what I want to do is, because these are faced to go like this, but I'm actually going to have it like this. I'm going to rotate all these guys. That's not hard. Just loosen that up, and then you could... Turn it and tighten it up. Do the same for the voltage. And of course you could take them out and change the positions too if you want. If you want voltage on top, whatever the case. All right, so let's put on the gasket. Line everything up. I'm gonna use the box that came in to be a nice little thing for me to lay this flat since the shape is right. All 
right, that's the way I want it. Use the screws. I'll tap the hole. Prime the hole. There's my panel. Let's install it. Of course, if you want, uh, you sh could replace these screws with a um, with a bolt and and nut. That's probably going to be better for the plastic, but I think it's going to be fine for right now. If it has any problems, I could always swap it out later. No problems. All right. So here we're going to access our 12 volt line. That's what it looks like. And you can get the, that pin, and it's probably in um, in the storage underneath your your back seat in the car. All right, looks like this. All right, so that's great. Ford gives you this, gives you one. Uh, if you want to do two, there's another one on the other side. I guess you'd have to buy another one. But anyways, plugs in nice and neatly. Let's route it around. Just like that. Cover this guy back up. Okay, let's connect these wires. All right, so for the connectors, I'm gonna use this pack, I don't know. I'll leave a link for this and this, of course. I'll, I'll leave a link on everything if you want. Uh, so these butt connectors have shrink wrap, shrink, heat shrink uh, afterwards. So after you crimp it, you heat shrink it for extra uh, sealing. You know, I think that'll be good for uh, this because you know it'll be out in the elements. Crimp it down. So I'm going to use these butt connectors, uh, male and female, so I could, uh, you know, remove it easily if I actually ever need to. But I'm going to crimp them all down and then I'm going to shrink. All right, and that should give you a pretty watertight uh, seal. So let's do it to all those guys. And of course, I'm going to use a male connector. These are the females. I'm going to use a male. It'll be like this. So the, these are the the uh, accessories live wires. So this is the one I want covered. So if you know ever this gets disconnected, this wire is exposed. That that's actually still okay because it's not. Uh, it won't be live once it's disconnected. But these will be. So that's why you want to use the the protective on this side. Now we're just going to hook them up. Added protection, I'm just going to wrap a little bit of a electrical tape. All right, let's install it. Give it a shot. All right. Looks like it lights up fine. 
Just turned on the ACC or accessories on the keys. So you can see the lights are coming on. Switches seem to work fine. I'm at 14 and a half volts. So let's uh, try the USB port. And of course it charges. I didn't expect it not to. So everything looks good. Got a pretty watertight system. And now I could make switches for, you know, maybe lights in the back and things like that. I'll leave a link in the description for this panel if you're interested. And uh, these butt connectors, if you're interested in those. All right, so it's been like 15 minutes and these ports are still on even though my keys are out. So uh, I did read that this is on a timer. So I wonder how long this thing stays on. So um, maybe I'm going to reset it and then I'm going to time it to see how long it takes to turn it off. All right, so it's been a little over an hour and it, sh it shut off, but I also closed my truck bed. So I don't know if that hastened the, the time that it took to shut it off, but it looks like just over an hour or so for it to shut off, which is okay. LED power doesn't suck that much.